August evenings are perfect for sitting back and gazing at the sky. And on the night of August 12 to 13, you'll definitely want to be looking up. The Perseid meteor shower will bring some 60 to 80 shooting stars every hour at its peak, about one per minute. The height of the show occurs in the early hours of Sunday, August 13th, from about 2 a.m. till dawn. Even if you're not a night owl, stay up till 10 or 11 p.m. on Saturday, August 12th, and you'll still see a good preview of the celestial show. In fact, early viewers might have a better chance of seeing so-called Earth grazers, meteors that enter Earth's atmosphere and leave again. These meteors make longer streaks and sometimes even leave behind a puff of smoke. In fact, the Perseid meteor shower is visible even in the couple of nights preceding and following the peak on August 13th. Every shooting star you see is actually a tiny bit of comet dust, ranging in size from sand grains to M&Ms. These tiny pieces of space debris orbit the Sun in the wake of Comet 109P Swift-Tuttle. This comet passes around the Sun every 133 years and last visited the inner solar system in 1992. But even as it travels back into the outer solar system, every year Earth crashes into the stream of dust the comet left behind. The bits of space rock hit the atmosphere at more than 100,000 miles per hour, 200 times faster than a jet airplane. Not only does that impact burn up the meteor in a flash of incandescent light, it also ionizes molecules in the atmosphere, lighting up the air around the meteor. You don't need anything to watch a meteor shower except maybe a lawn chair and a blanket as even August evenings can get chilly. Make sure you're comfortable and not craning your neck because you'll want plenty of time to allow your eyes to adjust to the dark, at least 20 minutes outside. Take a deep breath, slow down and see what you see. If you trace the meteors back, they'll appear to come from a radiant in the constellation Perseus, the hero. The meteors are actually on parallel tracks that appear to converge the same way railroad tracks do. Tracing out the constellations can be part of the fun sitting out under the stars, but you don't need to find Perseus to see the meteors. These shooting stars will streak all over the sky. All you need to do is look up. <laughs>